From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Moiler, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. According to a new survey, 44 percent of flyers would rather take a longer, more expensive flight than fly United. <laughs> Heck, I'd rather take Amtrak. I'd even settle for Greyhound. A South Carolina family got an Easter visit this week from a nine-foot-long alligator that broke into their upstairs porch and then refused to leave. Even worse, the Easter Bunny never showed up. Uh-oh. A person aboard a Southwest Airlines plane was arrested after security staff found a loaded gun in his hand luggage. Oh yeah, and by the way, Eric was to be the plane's pilot. Incidentally, this is the second gun that has been found by Albany baggage screeners in four weeks. Now, now seeing as it has been proven that the TSA is only 5 percent effective, imagine how many guns are still getting through security. Have a nice flight! Kendall Jenner says she's not as girly as her Kardashian sisters. In her words, she says, I get that from my dad. I'll just uh, let that one sink in for a moment. The U.S. fleet President Trump supposedly sent to North Korea spent days sailing in the wrong direction. Well, hey, you know, it's a, it's a round world. The fleet would get there eventually. An Oregon man died peacefully after a friend falsely told him that President Trump had been impeached. Now, are you sure he died peacefully? I mean, maybe once he passed on, his spirit got really ticked off at being lied to in his final moments on Earth. He's going to torment his friend now until Trump leaves office. Watch your language in Louisiana! Deputies arrested Jared Dillon Smith after they say he yelled an F-bomb while sitting next to a 75-year-old woman and, quote, clearly disturbed her peace. He was arrested. In Louisiana, the penalty for disturbing the peace is up to 90 days in jail and a $100 fine. Yep, all of that for a single dropping of the F word. Now, if that's the case, I can only assume Louisiana doesn't allow cable TV or movie theaters. Over $43 million in American cash was found inside an apartment in Nigeria. And you are way late if you were thinking of a Nigerian prince joke. Starbucks unveiled the Unicorn Frappuccino this week, a multicolored salute to something that we believe exists but have never seen. You know, like the president's tax returns. The Avondale Police Department in Arizona has shared photos from the swearing-in of its newest and most unusual officer, Iroh, the drug-sniffing lizard. Uh, by the way, lizards don't actually have a better sense of smell than dogs, and this all started off last year as an April Fool's Day joke, but apparently they just couldn't let this little guy go, so now he's on the police force. Hey, I wonder if he can save them a bunch of money on car insurance for their police vehicles by switching them to Geico. Egyptian archaeologists have discovered eight mummies in a 3,500-year-old tomb near the ancient city of Luxor. Tom Cruise could not have wished for better timing. Scientists say they have discovered that salt doesn't make you thirsty, it makes you hungry. Finally, an explanation of why I always need some pretzels to go with my pretzels. A guy in China hid about $6,000 in the kitchen trash can before he and his wife went away on a business trip. When they returned, they forgot about the money and days later tossed away the garbage. And the money. Yeah, that, that's just too bad. I mean, that $6,000 could have come in handy for buying a wall safe or maybe opening a Christmas savings account. Jake Bowers of Ohio wanted to set a good example for his children, and it cost him $14,000. That's how much money he found on the side of the road as he drove his family to a park in Worthington, a Columbus suburb. Bowers says when he initially saw the blue felt bag on the roadside, he thought it might contain someone's laptop. Instead, it was filled with $100 bills. Bowers and his family drove straight to the Worthington police station, and the bag was returned to its owner. It wasn't too hard to find him. A wallet containing the owner's ID was inside the bag. It could have been worse. The guy could have kept his money in a kitchen trash can. 
So what would you do, weirdos? If you found $14,000 in cash on the side of the road, would you turn it in or would you keep it? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, well, be sure to leave a comment and say so. Have you signed up for the Marler Sheet? It is the official newsletter of Marler House. Subscribers to the Marler Sheet are automatically entered in monthly prize drawings. Sign up for the Marler Sheet free today at MarlerHouse.com. For more weird news anytime, visit DailyToseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!